Hello friends, welcome to the 55th session of Hybris tutorial. In this session guys, we will learn how we can build our project and then can bring our server up with only one click. Guys, if we are working in a development project, we would need to build our project very frequently and then we need to bring our server up as well. And guys, you already know that building the project takes some time and we need to wait for the completion of and all command to get finished. Only then we need to bring our server up manually by firing the command hybrid server dot bat. So in this video, I am going to show you how with only one click we can bring the we can firstly build our project and then we can bring our server up. So guys, as you can see, this is the hybris folder we have and over here I am in the platform folder. In the conventional way, if we have to build our project first and then we need to bring our server up, what we used to do, we will open the command line over here like this. Then firstly, we will set the ant environment like this and then we will, uh, you know, build our project like this and all right. So as you already know that the completion of this end all command will take time. This will take around 10 to 15 minutes. So we have to wait for the completion of this end all command, right? And then we have to be manually fire the command hybrid server dot bat. Now I will show you that how we can automate this process that how the uh, how we can fire the hybrid server dot bat command automatically without any manual intervention as soon as the end all command is finished okay so firstly we will see this process how we do use to do uh, this manually so currently as you can see i have fired the end all command and i am waiting for this end all command to get finished as soon as the end all command will get finished i will manually bring my server up right so let's wait for this end all command to get finished so guys now you can see build is finished in the conventional way what we used to do to bring our server up we used to manually fire the command hybrid server dot bat right so as you can see i have manually fired the command hybrid server dot bat and then uh, my server would come up in 15 to 20 minutes right so guys now i will tell you there is another alternative way we can automate this process so what we will do with just one click um, uh, my build will get started automatically then my server will also start automatically i don't need to do any manual intervention so i will show you how we can achieve that process so for that guys what you have to do i will firstly uh, bring my server down because it is not required for us to see the server as a up so i will just close the command line and then guys i will just download this utility so i am just downloading this utility okay i'm just downloading this utility and then guys uh, what i have to do uh, don't worry about this utility i have already uploaded this utility so you can just download this utility i will give you the link in the comment section of this video so you just have to download this utility and the uh, user manual is also attached over here okay so as you can see i have now downloaded the utility and then what i will do i will just open this utility over here so i'm just double clicking on this utility and you you can see i've just double clicked on the utility and guys you can see firstly what it has done it has set the ant environment automatically okay then it has started building the project as you can see it has started building the project and this build will get uh, finished automatically and as soon as the build is finished you will see guys that it will automatically bring the server as up again automatically we don't need to do any uh, manual thing over here it will automatically sniff that the build is finished and it will automatically bring the server up again so let's wait for this build to get finished and then we will see that it will automatically bring my server up as well okay So guys, at this point, you 
dependency build is successful and then the utility has automatically started my server as well so i have not done any manual intervention at this step only the utility has started my server as you can see my server is coming up and my, it will come up in some time so let's wait for the server to come up and then we will see whether we are able to access the cockpits as well or not so guys now you can see the server has come up automatically and if we try to open any cockpit like if we try to open the hsc you can see we are able to open the hsc or we are able to open any storefront as well so you can see we are able to uh, open the hsc or able to open the storefront as well so guys i hope this utility is very useful for you 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 can use this utility in your projects as well it is it is a plugged in utility which you can use with your project as well so you can just download this utility i will give you the link of this utility in the comment section of this video and guys i hope you like this video if you like this video do share this video with your friends thank you for watching bye